Welcome to another episode of the Read Pile. Today I'm taking a look at Dragon Ball Super Volumes 5 and 6. This is the end. I mentioned in a previous video that this is the end of the Zamas, the Zamasu Future Trunks story. And I was surprised by this because the, the ending is very different than what I saw in the show. And again, like in that previous video, there was stuff that I was looking forward to seeing that just isn't here. And uh, I found that weird and disappointing. And then I wound up watching some, because I, I had to verify that what I thought happened, because it had been a number of years, that what I thought had happened was real. And I was just um, Googling Trunks vs. Zamas, and uh, I, I guess... My wife has a subscription to Crunchyroll, and I could have gone there and just watched the episode, but I was Googling, and then I wound up on YouTube, where there was a Spanish dub of the end of that fight, and I'm just watching it in Spanish. And then I go to the next episode, and I'm like, yeah, this is completely different. So we don't get Trunks and the giant energy sword spirit bomb versus Zamasu, and uh, I loved that element, because I'm a Trunks fan we also don't get the uh there's this happening but we don't get the sort of weird i mean this is that's amazing right call back to frieza oh uh what we don't get is the mutated fused zamas giant akira arm thing and i thought that was weird and uh thankfully i'll say this we don't get a sky full of Zamasu faces, because that was that was where it gets real weird, is when his face just covers the entire sky. Instead, we get this, which I think makes more sense. Um, sort of like Boo, Zamas winds up as a bunch of small pieces, and then each of those pieces, because he's immortal and he has a bunch of power, um, form more bodies of himself. And I'm like, uh, who? This is this is interesting and it's threatening and it's like I uh, I don't know I enjoyed I enjoyed this ending a bit more than the show but there was elements that I still wished were in this that I enjoyed from the show so like the ideal form for me would be some sort of combination of both but uh, after that we get some more stuff and one of the other things that was in the show is there's a farewell between Gohan and Trunks which was really nice we get this um, bonus story at the back here I think it's this one yeah there's this bonus story at the back which is sort of well it is sad and it's awkward and uh, the, the one that's in the show is actually far more touching so I don't know man I don't know it's weird so after all of that, we get some random adventures, and one of them includes Goku getting a, pff, attempted carjacking by some bandits, and like that, that's hilarious. That's amazing. I loved it, right? That's good shit. It establishes that Bulma is currently pregnant. I don't remember if that were in this before. I can't remember. But all of this is sort of in between, right? So it finished off the Zamas Future Trunks arc, and then the next thing is going to be the big multi-universal tournament, and um, that gets set up. However, again, the difference is there is an exhibition match first, and in the manga it is the gods of destruction that wind up fighting and this I thought was super interesting and uh, one of I'll say this so one of my favorite parts about Dragon Ball is all of the character designs I think they're awesome and this tournament in particular um, really sort of super introduces the uh, gods of destruction and the angels and uh, all of them I think are pretty awesome character designs and then because of the nature of the upcoming tournament there's a uh, hundred and something I don't think all of the universes participate is there eight so there'd be 80 new character designs from that and like that is awesome I love it but there is this 
fight that starts here between Gods of Destruction, and I loved it. Again, it's very different than what happens in the show. I'm just going to recommend reading and watching both. And that then carries over into here, which is where Goku fights Topo. Here's Topo, and Topo um, comments on Jiren being in his universe and being stronger than Topo. And Goku's excited for fighting somebody stronger, obviously. But what's weird... So, this. This is, again, disappointing because what I hadn't realized is that some of my favorite episodes are actually filler. There's... I counted this morning. There's something like 28 episodes between the end of Zamas and the start of um, the multi-universal tournament of power. Is that what it's called? Universe something. 28 episodes. There's a lot of material in there. And this has some of that, but not some of the coolest stuff. Like the uh, Gohan training. There's the random baseball episode. There is... I'd forgotten about this. I'd for, Well, I'd forgotten about baseball, but I'd also forgotten that after Goku gets Frieza out of hell, that assassins try to kill the two of them. And there's a huge fight there that's cool that happens. Um, we only get a reference to Goku recruiting... Tian Chi Han, and uh, in the show you actually see that. There's the crossover episode with Dr. Slump. There's, um... Oh, the Goku Krillin fight, which was amazing. It happens on a rooftop in the rain. Oh my god. Oh, oh and Hit? Goku, Goku hires Hit to try and kill him. Like, that's great stuff. This still has good stuff. But again, some of my favorite stuff is actually filler episodes. This is Paikohan from um, Dragon Ball Z. And uh, my wife and I were watching Kai. This is years ago. And just after Cell, Goku's dead. He immediately joins a tournament in the afterlife. And this guy pops out. And they skip this completely in Kai. And I'm like, ah, oh, damn it. Again, filler episodes. And it's... Some of my favorite stuff is in filler episodes. Anyway, I've said this before already in this video, but I do recommend reading this. I also recommend watching the show because they're different. You'll get something different from each. Also, Goku is a terrible person. Uh, I mentioned Bulma's pregnancy a minute ago. Well, one, he's lying to his friends to get them involved in this tournament, and that's not cool. He doesn't tell them that the universe is on the line, and when Krillin finds out, he's justifiably pissed off at... I wish I already had the kid there. Uh, he's justifiably pissed off at um, Goku for lying to him. But, earlier, we have Whis actually delivers sort of asterisk Bulma's baby because Vegeta is not going to participate because his wife is about to give birth and Whis just says here hold this blanket I'm going to stare at your belly and then your baby's going to fall out of the sky and she's like what? and then she's, she makes a comment like well if you can deliver them all of this way then I'll have more kids but uh, Goku's, Goku's shocked by this and he's like uh, so that's how babies are born and he's just so clueless uh he's one not sure what bulma giving birth um has to do with vegeta not participating and vegeta's like yeah that makes a lot of sense uh again he's a terrible father he's a terrible person goku sucks as a person as a character um yeah i <laughs> This confirmed for me why I should be a Vegeta and Piccolo fan rather than Goku. Like, there are far better characters than the main character, who's a dick. Anyway, this is great. I am going to take a break from Super. At this exact moment, I don't have Volume 8, so I did skip ahead, skim ahead, through Volumes 7 and 9. Um, so we're going to have... Uh, two solid volumes of the tournament, and which then ends about a third of the way into volume nine, and then it looks like there's very little 
gap between the next arc I'm starting, which is also in that same volume. But at this exact moment, I don't have volume eight. I am instead going to switch over to the amulet. Uh, volume nine of this, the final volume, is coming out in early February, and I'm going to reread the previous eight and do videos on these. This was a fairly quick read, so I think I'm going to do them in the sets of three, one to three, four through six, and then seven through nine. So I'm going to switch over to this, and at some point, I still should be getting Sakamoto, Sakamoto Days Volume 10, and I'll do a video on that. So I will take a break from Super for a bit, but I'm still very much looking forward to getting past the Tournament of Power and into stuff that I haven't already seen in the show. Um, again skimming ahead I noticed that they I think skipped the Broly movie again so I'll see what happens when I get there and read it for real but uh, again that's kind of amusing that they just skip they, they don't adapt the movies into the manga even though they're mm, whatever whatever I do recommend it it's good stuff and I'll say one last time uh, read the manga and watch the show because they are very different but I'll be back next week with something.